you, let's talk about some of the areas where you help people, right? Because you said you how your first coach was for business, but what are some of the areas people come um, for help to you and say, Patricia, I need help in this, you know, I need help in my finances or, or my, my work life or my business or, or health. So for many, I mean, you know, I have clients who come from all different areas, all different industries, all different experiences. And what they're looking for are answers in which to rise above, go beyond, move past where they are. Many of them are unfulfilled in whatever arena they're unfulfilled in, but this is mostly people come to me about um, excellence, higher standards, rising above, expansion. And many times it's about maybe they've expanded, but then they've hit a ceiling and they just don't know how to push through the ceiling or move past the ceiling or go through that ceiling to the next level. But I really focus on not so much the arena necessarily. It is about this arena right here, this arena. Because what I know to be true is that in any area and in every area, someone would like help and results. Yes, there are some things to do. Yes, in health, we have health results and there are some things we need to do to be very healthy. And yet where I focus is the mindset. I focus on the inside because this is an inside out world. So it's about what's going on in here. What's going on in here, as long as we can really get clear of what's going on in here, it changes everything out there. So whether it's health and vitality, or whether it is in finances, as you mentioned, whether it's in business, but most of all, it is about performance and it is about changing the game inside here because when we can change the game here, we change the relationship with everything outside. So really I would say <laughs> I'm a relationship coach, but I'm not really a relationship coach as many would think it. I'm a relationship coach with what's happening and how we're relating within the mindset, the heart set and the being, because when we've got this right, oh my goodness, everything else shows up in exact correlation with what's going on right here, right now. And that's why, especially right now today, where we are in this day, as we head into this next month and next year, it is setting us up for what's going to happen even years or decades down the road. And that's why we want to be really, really clear of what are we doing today and how are we showing up today and who are we being today? Because it's a dramatic, it's a dramatic opportunity, or shall I say it's an amazing opportunity for, to determine uh, where we'll end up coming soon. You're, you're so right. I mean, you, you know, the, you know, plant, sow and plant, or sow and, uh, can't get the words out, but it's, let's try that again. Yes, it's, you're so right, because, you know, what you do today is going to affect what, what the results you're going to have tomorrow. And you talked about mindset. Let's talk a little bit about mindset, because, you know, our brains are wired for negative thoughts, right? They're, it's wired to protect us. So how do you help people who, to keep, keep that mindset, you know, to combat the negative thoughts, to keep the mindset going, because we're going to have, you know, I'm like, oh, this is great. Today's been great. This has happened. This happened and all this stuff. And then like in the afternoon, well, this changed. So this wasn't so great. And this is different. So now I'm like, I'm, you go from a high to a low, which can affect your next day. So how do you, how do you tell people combat the, the, the animal brain, right? And then the, the negative thoughts and keep a positive mindset. There are many tools I use on that one, Cliff. And it's again, mastery. It's about getting really building those muscles with the tools. So it's like going to a gym, right? So that we can maintain this energy. It's about maintaining this energy, the emotions, our mental, they're all related. They're all connected. And what you were just speaking about many times people have highs and lows based upon what the results are on the outside that they have fed to them. So let's just take, you know, they go to the scale and they look at their scale weight and it's where they want it to be. Wow, then they're feeling like a million. 
And then the next day they go to the scale and it's not where they want to be. And so now dun, 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 the whole day is messed up <laughs> the whole day. It's like that, that brain, that animal brain, right? It's, it's feeding them this information, whether we talk about a scale or a bank account or business results or relationship results, we tend to, as human beings, react to the outside circumstances. And when we can recognize that the outside circumstances actually are created by where we reside within, as we speak about, you know, really staying grounded, staying in tune, staying even keeled. And so it's not so much just about thinking positive thoughts or trying to be positive, you know, the idea that I'm Susie positive and so everything is great. That is helpful to have a positive attitude, to think positively and to be tuned to positivity. But where the rubber really meets the road is what's happening within, because I can pretend all day to be happy, but pretending to be happy or trying to be happy or slapping on a smile while I am furious or fearful or upset inside, that's a disconnect. And so it really is about, again, tuning into a very high vibration. And I have tools in which I work with people to really help lift themselves to a vibration, a vibrational state that is in alignment with happiness. But it's beyond happiness. It's joy. It's peace. It's serenity. And so when we can tune ourselves to that, we can then begin to see the world starts to show up in alignment with that. We're the tuner. And so many times people tune themselves off of what's happening in the events of the world or the news that's happening, right? That's very fear fearful. So if we're tuning ourselves to that, then, then we become that. No, no, no. You're the tuner. You're the tuner. And in fact, when you tune yourself, that's when everything starts to show up the way you are tuned to. It's really interesting, Cliff. Today, or over the weekend, my husband and I were in a really beautiful hotel in Newport Beach. And um, I just happened to, not that I was listening, but this woman was speaking very loudly. So we were able to, I think a lot of people were able to hear what she was saying. And she was speaking about the practice she had in the morning, her friend said, how do you set yourself up for the day? And she was speaking about the practice she has in the morning. And she has a practice and I speak about practices and practices to set the stage for the day. They are vital. It's vital. It used to be a luxury. Now it's a necessity really and truly for where we are in the world today. But this woman was speaking about how she sets herself up and um, she talked about gratitude, her gratitude journal. And I was just filled with such joy for her thinking that she every morning starts a gratitude list and lists all the things she's grateful for. And so she went on with her practice and that gratitude journal, it's one of the most important things we can do. There's different ways I work with people on that specifically and in the Elevate program and in the Happiness Project, that's like first stop starting in gratitude. And yet this woman went on about her manifestation practice, how in the morning she has, it's when she manifests in the morning. It's when she manifests her day. And um, I thought kudos, right? Because she's at least practicing manifestation. But the fun fact about manifestation is that we're manifesting every second of the day. We're manifesting 24 seven. We're manifesting machines. You and I, we manifest at real time, real time. We're manifesting even right this moment. And so manifestation happens, you know, when we're in alignment with what we're thinking, what we're speaking, how we're feeling, what we're projecting, who we're being, that's what manifests real time every day. So, um, Cliff, when you think about how I work with people about really raising the bar, raising the game, it's about raising vibration. 
It's about raising frequency. And those are new buzzwords. They've been around for a very long time, but they're really hitting mainstream now. And many people are asking, well, how do we do that? And those are some of the, those are some of the things that I love to work with and help people do because when we can raise ourselves, we raise the bar, we raise the game. Thank you.